Welcome to, let's not call it Tesla Jigsaw, let's call it Exciting Global News, where our top story today is this. A Tesla Model Y just delivered itself. You're going to have to repeat that. A Tesla Model Y just delivered itself after driving autonomously for 30 minutes from the Tesla factory production line to a customer's house. The correct response to this should be excitement, amazement, sheer wonderment of this incredible technological achievement. Personal transportation has just levelled up somewhat. So where is this splendid good news story in the world's media? Don't be silly, they don't report good news stories anymore. How would they keep people glued to their propaganda boxes day after day if anyone thought for a moment that things were going well on the whole for humanity? Anyway, back to the plot. Something struck me as I picked up our new Model Y over the weekend. Number one, we haven't just bought a car. We've purchased a fully autonomous ready vehicle. One of these, if you like. Only without the ugly looks or the insane price tag. Ah, that's better, isn't it? And as Waymo continue on their path built on poor foundations of radar, lidar, gaydar, Darth Vader, my guitar, and goodness knows what else, Tesla has a simpler solution. Loads of computery eyeballs and a badass AI brain. You know, like as humans, only with time, these cars will far exceed our reaction times and capabilities. And what does Jim Farley go and do? Sawyer Merritt on X posts, News! Ford CEO Jim Farley said today that Waymo's approach to self-driving makes more sense than Tesla's. Ugh! and that he talked to Elon Musk but decided LiDAR was important to the picture. Could clue number one be, assuming you know more about this, Jim, than Elon Musk? Someone who has figured out how to land reusable rockets, given most of the globe satellite internet connection, and already built millions of ready-to-go fully autonomous cars. That's quite a leap of faith to assume you know best after having a conversation with Elon Musk. But yeah, why not? You do you. It's only 100 plus years of Ford's legacy at risk, thousands of employees' jobs at stake, and the possibility of a prat like me being able to say, who saw that coming five years from now? When you have a brand like Ford, when there's a new technology, you have to be really careful. We really believe that LiDAR is mission critical. When asked to compare both Waymo and Tesla's systems, he asked, which approach makes more sense? To us, Waymo. Both Waymo and Tesla have made a lot of progress on self-driving. I've had conversations with Elon Musk, but he stated that Ford considered LiDAR to be an important part of the picture. Noting that, quote, where the camera will be completely blinded, the LiDAR system will see exactly what's in front of you. Ford has said it plans to partner with a self-driving software company once the technology is farther along i.e. once it's so late to attempt to catch up to Tesla, Ford might as well start stockpiling Optimus robots to self-drive their cars. As I replied on X, there's no surprise here. Unfortunately, Ford was slow to go electric, slow to understand the importance of a supercharger network, and are clearly slow to understand the solution to autonomy. Legacy Auto will come to an end because at some point they won't be able to compete profitably and will go bankrupt could have been avoided. I just can't see how traditional car makers will survive this shift to electric, let alone autonomous vehicles, and somehow do so profitably without radical restructuring an infinite pile of cash and also manage to attract the world's best and brightest engineers. Trouble is, the world's best and brightest engineers don't want to work for companies that are stuck in their ways especially when innovative firms like Tesla offer a real chance to shape the future of mobility, push boundaries, even urge their employees to do so. The critical inertia and outdated hierarchies of legacy automakers combined with the high costs of transitioning their supply chains and infrastructure make it an uphill battle to compete with companies already optimised for this new era, i.e. Tesla. Oh yeah, and the second thing that struck me as we picked up our new Model Y was noticing four miles on the odometer. Can you take a guess as to who was driving for the first four miles of this Tesla's life? No, not Optimus. We've already passed the need for a humanoid driver. Don't bother trying to tell Ford, though. 
This Tesla, like all built at Giga Berlin in Germany, drove itself off the production line and parked itself ready to be shipped off to me in this case. How long until we see the first hundred deliveries, thousand, the first million? How long until we see autonomous deliveries taking place in the UK? Let me know in the comments below what you think. The third thing that dawned on me as we picked up our rather stunning new Tesla Model Y was that this is a robo-taxi ready vehicle. The time will come when I have the choice to add my Tesla to the robo-taxi network and have it pop off to work for me, earning passive income while I sleep. For regular viewers of the channel who already know I'm possibly insane for even thinking that the UK is capable of deregulating itself to allow this, it shouldn't come as a surprise, but if you just spat out your tea and laughed at the very idea, feel free to peruse some of my previous videos highlighting the Tesla RoboTaxi network that is already in operation in America. I wonder how many people know that. And as we watch this video to end with, I challenge you to simply imagine a future world full of autonomous cars delivering themselves and driving their owners and even robo-taxi customers around. Because, and here's the shocker, it's already happening today! I'm Will, this is the Tesla Jigsaw, thank you Patreons, thanks for watching, bye for now.